And looking toward the end of the week and the possible emergency use authorization of Moderna's vaccine, what are you learning about how the second vaccine is different than the Pfizer one? Well, you know, we can show you, we, we pulled some of the, the most pertinent sort of uh, facts about these vaccines. They're, they're very similar. They're both messenger RNA vaccines. Uh, the, the Moderna one is separated by four weeks as opposed to the Pfizer one by three weeks. The Moderna one does not need to be kept as cold. So that may offer up some, some wider distribution sort of channels for that. Um, you know, one thing was a big deal last week. You remember, Anderson, was the age Pfizer trialed. Uh, people 16 and older, the Moderna one is 18 and older, but very similar vaccines. One thing that is emerging, as something that you and I talked about last night, Anderson, the, the, the vaccine is, we know that it prevents illness. A uh, big question is, does it also prevent infection? Uh, the Moderna uh, paperwork, they, they released an addendum after they released the full report that basically said they also swabbed people before they got their first dose and in between their first and second doses as well. And what they found was that there were a lot of people who never had any symptoms, you know, they, they, they were totally asymptomatic, but of the people who got, who actually swabbed positive, the significant number of them were in the placebo arm, far, far fewer were in the, in the actual vaccinated arm. I hope that makes sense. So basically, uh, no, these people did not have symptoms, they were just swabbed as part of surveillance testing, and they found that the vaccinated group tended to be far less likely to actually have uh, presence of virus. So, you know, uh, we'll see what that means. It obviously doesn't show that it's completely protective mm -hmm. against people becoming infected, but it does seem to have some impact on this. And we're looking for that same sort of data out of Pfizer, which they say may come in January.